Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the video and here today we are going to cover a little bit about accessing Webman and your PS3 from pretty much any device that has a browser and you can access your uh, have access to your network to or getting online or whatever so this means your phone tablet PC whatever so what you need obviously is Webman to be installed and as you may or maybe may not know is that when you when you have Webman installed and it's running, whenever you boot up your PS3, it's ready. I mean, it's ready for you to make that connection because that's why it's called Webman, because uh, you can access it from, you know, your browser. And so, um, yeah, it's pretty convenient and it could do a few things. As I go through this video, make sure that whenever you, I'm not going to cover everything, but whenever you're experimenting, make sure you know what you're doing or you can have some pretty adverse effects. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Once you have your PS3's um, IP address, just open up your browser, and it's as simple as typing that IP address on your browser. So we're going to do that, 15.1.107, hit enter. Now, it was already there, but I just typed it just so you can see. I just press enter, no HTTP, no anything. Just type it, and then you'll be brought here to the files page. Now, before you get excited about this, this is, is not a practical method to FTP. If you want to FTP, you can watch my other video in this PS3 tutorials a playlist here on YouTube. Um, and there, I show you a, a great way to do that um, without even the need of a PC. Those of you using a PC, of course, you use FileZilla or whatever, but you can do it without one. And I show you how to do that there. But um, this is not a good way to FTP. But... It is a good way if you're going to download a few files off of the PS, it works really well because, you know, it's, in this case, my PC is directly connected to my router and so is my uh, PS3, so it downloads stuff really fast. So let's say we go here into the dev HDD0 folder, let's go to packages, and let's say I want to download this the webman mod. All right, all I need to do is click on it one time and look. And see, there we go. It's already done. So it, it's good for downloading from the PS to your um, smart device or to your PC. That works really well. You can see here you have a lot of tabs as well, as well as these up here. All right. So you got the files, which is the one you go to. You got the games. You have the slider, which is like for your games. This looks kind of familiar almost like uh, Multiman or Iris Man, right? Actually, it looks more like Iris Man because the same person who did Iris Man does this Webman mod stuff. You can hit your back arrow and go back. Every time you click on one of these, take a note at your address bar because this works just like any other address. So let's say I want to go here to setup. I have mine set up where whenever I click on this um, on this tab it's going to open straight to here as opposed to opening to the files so if you notice it has your IP address and then it says setup.ps3 you can go ahead and you can save this to your bookmarks you can bookmark it to your bar or um, to wherever on your phone and on your tablet it works the same way you can just bookmark this so that when you click on that bookmark it brings you directly here to the setup page I use the setup page a lot so I have mine uh, bookmarked for here by the way, in this setup page, you can make all kinds of changes as you would normally if you were in the PS, including to your um, uh, to your console ID, which I'm going to make another video about that, how to spoof that. Whenever you make changes, though, if you want them to stick to your phone and your um, and your uh, 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 and your which I'm calling your PC, make sure that you come to these two boxes here where it says Scan for LAN Games Video. Uh, server number four and number five and make sure each one of these boxes has a one next to it okay so as long as it has a one next to it you can go ahead and make whatever changes you want here then click save and then click here to restart the PS if you don't put a one in those two boxes whenever you make a change and you come down here to save when you click it it's going to tell you to put a one in the box or a greater number all right so um, I figured you should know that up front so it saves you a little bit of time. All right, so that's about it. Let me go ahead and, uh, you know, you can mess with this all you want as well. And um, before I was going to go ahead and go to my phone and tablet, but let me um, let me go ahead and, and go to uh, games here. 
again, and I'm going to go into PS3. And you can see here you have a list of games. So if you want to mount the game, all you have to do is pick the game you want, and it will set it up. I'm going to pick that one. If you look here on the screen, see, up here on my PS3, it loaded the game, and it gives you the notification. And if I go down, or I should say up, right, there's the Midway Arcade Origins. And, of course, I can unmount the game here as well. Let's do that, and it should disappear. See, it's gone from my screen. So, yeah, a lot of stuff. You got the uh, temperature control uh, and all that. Your fan control here. You can, there's a slider where you can slide this back and forth. I wouldn't mess with that at all unless you know what you're doing. So let me go ahead and go to my tablet now, and we'll finish up the video there. All right, so here we are at the tablet. Same deal. You're going to open up your browser, type in the um, uh, your PS3, uh, PS3's IP address, and uh, you should get the same deal here. You're going to get uh, into your webman, and you'll have access to all the same stuff you do on the PC or on the PS3 itself. See, same exact thing. So, of course, when you um, just type in the IP address, it's going to take you to files like it did on the PC, but um, you can then come here to setup and you have access to all the boxes. Remember whenever you make changes here uh, to click save and I saved it on the uh, PC and then once I, you save it and you hit reboot, of course it saves it to the PS3. So those two ones are already there, but if you haven't put them yet, make sure you put them there where it says PS3 net server four and net server five. Make sure you put a one in each one of those boxes. If you don't, whenever you make changes here and you come down here to save, instead of going to this screen, you're going to be taken to a different, uh, you're going to be at the same screen. You're going to stay at this screen, uh, but it's going to give you a message saying you need to change the value of those boxes. So let's go ahead and uh, let me go into the games tab or the games page. All right, and there's all your games with the box art and everything, all right? So let me go ahead and load up the Genesis collection, all right? And this will now show you right here that the game is loaded, all right? So on the, if you noticed up there in the right-hand corner on the PS3, it um, gave you the notification like it does when uh, you load it from Webman that it's been loaded, and there it is. Now we're gonna go ahead and hit unmount and there we go, the game has been unmounted and now it disappears from here. And you can send those messages if you go to the PS3 Mappy section. All right, come here and click send, type whatever you want, and you see it sends it up to the little right hand corner notification box. All right, so anyway, there's a lot you can do here, guys. Uh, just mess with it and be careful. Thanks a lot for watching the video. We'll see you next time. Take care.